Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we acquired the Aegis Ruin. And today we are going to continue questing Light be with you. in Elwyn Forest. The Collector, what? We haven't had our people working the Elwyn Mines for months? Let me see that note you have. Mm, I have heard of this Collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedules. It will help us solve this mystery. Oh, nice. If the uh, collector is ants. taking gold from our mines, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the collector to justice and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the collector is working for. The pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. You should search for him there. All right, guys, let's go get the collector. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty damn good. Enjoying the change of weather. But that comes with allergies. Look at that cool parrot. That's why I love Season of Discovery, guys. I know some people are getting a little bit bored of it. But I love all the new stuff. Or just the random new things that you find. It's I like it. I think they're doing a great job. And I I love what they're doing with, you know, just Discover's Delight. It doesn't take you a long time to level up. They reduce they reduce the amount of gold costs on stuff. It's it's clearly a seasonal you know, server. It has that seasonal vibe to it where just come in, have fun. Not much of a grind. Just enjoy yourself and play a little bit of WoW. Check out all the new stuff we added. It's it's great, man. Like, I will admit, I've enjoyed leveling every... Like, every class I've leveled, I've enjoyed it. I really have. I'm enjoying the Paladin right now. I think the Paladin has some of the coolest Bruin quests that I've done. Maybe it's just the vibe of Melwin Forest. It's such a great starting zone, man. One of my favorites. I wonder what they're going to do with with another with the new season, right? Maybe it's probably going to be a new theme, like season of. It won't be discovery anymore. It'll be something different. I guess time will tell with that. And I wonder if they'll just have a season of discovery server that we can transfer to when, you know, the season is complete. All right, so here we are at the pumpkin patch. Because I hope our characters just don't disappear, right? Clearly, uh, Pretty high level. Oh my gosh. We're going to get wrecked. Okay, let's heal. I got to finish this person off. Okay, good. We got rid of that one. Anybody else? All right. Bubble time. It's bubble time. Got a little plane of paladin. Oh, I'm in trouble. Bubble time. <laughs> oh! Burlocks. Always sneaking up on you. It's time to take the shovel to him. Did we collect the collector's ring? No, we didn't. Damn it. Which means we're going to have to go back. I 
Oh, that was a fail. By the time we go back, I assume... The Collector will be alive again. We gotta deal with these guys quick. Let's get this band, this one bandit here. There's the Collector just hanging out. Look at the axe this guy has, Erlen Drudgemore. I wasn't just, oh, that wasn't the collector. That was the Serena Kaladin. And what did we get there? Westfall Deed. What's that all about? This is the deed to an expanse of farmlands within Westfall. It is signed by a Theodore Furbro and co-signed by his wife, Verna. And on the back of the deed are hastily scrawn words. We leaned on Furbo and got his deed. Thought it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these for your own place. Furbo's won't give us trouble. Last I saw them, they were on their way out of Westfall, stuck with a broken wagon. You think the Furbo's might want their deed back? Yeah, I think they do. Okay, so let's head back to Goldshire. I think we'll just hearth there. We got a hearth. Might as well use it. And I think we'll be headed into Westfall today, guys. Greetings. Did you find the collector? Did you discover whom he's working you for? You found him? Well done, adventurer. He won't be collecting from the Elwyn mines again, and this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old stonemasons guild in Stormwind. Why would a lowly thief have an artisan guild ring? And why are the Defias thieves collecting money from our mines? Difficult questions. I hope one day we'll have answers. Well, I guess he might have been a stonemason. Okay. Off to Westfall we go, guys. We'll try to pick up as many dead mines quests as we can. Maybe we'll make our way back to Stormwind. Could buy ourselves a one handed weapon. We can use this bad boy. It actually does more damage. A solid metal club. It does more damage than our shovel. We'll try it. We'll, we'll sword and board for a bit. Or a sedge. All right, well, let's turn this in here. We'll help out the Westbrook Garrison. I think we're probably going to get a I quest to slay Knowles, right? Officials in Stormwind sending the bulk of our yep. army abroad when our home front is under so much pressure. With thieves coming from Westfall, wish you picked that up earlier. From, from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. 
A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind Army will commend whomever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be leveling up our one-handed maces today, guys. Shouldn't take us too long. Just got to catch it up to 75. Snow's beating the crap out of us. There we go. Already got a 26. It's good that we're doing this. We'll need a one-hander if we want to tank. If there's any good loot in dead mines, guys. Pretty sure it's 15. No, dead mines is 17. So we're actually not as close as we think we are. That's good. Pretty nice ring. Two-handed mace is amazing. I hope we get that. Smite's mighty hammer. A really nice uh, one-handed sword called the cool, Cruel Barb. That drops off Edwin Van Cleef. That would be amazing to get. And I've been playing Clothies for pretty much all of Season of Discovery, so this is going to be interesting getting, you know, physical DPS loot or plate gear, art mail gear. Whatever you want to call it, because I've never actually uh, had to get that stuff yet. So, interested to see what type of loot we start getting from the raids when we get there. So, once we hit 25, we'll, we'll, we'll hop into a Black Fathom Deeps. Because why not? That's when we'll really see quite the big power spike. Also interested PvPing as a Red Paladin. I wonder, wonder what that's going to be like. Oh, there's Hogger. Let's fight him. I'm actually going to get a 1v1 with Hogger. <laughs> Did us pretty damn hard, guys. Hogger don't mess around. Kind of Okay. Okay, it's heal. Hopefully we can get at least one heal off. Yeah, that's pretty damn hard there. Let's try another one. Okay, good. Not bad. He's completely wrecking us. Are we okay? Okay, bubble. This is when we heal again. Hopefully we can get two heals out of this. Okay, hopefully you can finish him off here. We have lay on hands, so. Pretty damn safe. As long as he doesn't, like, completely wreck us. There we go, we beat Hogger. I think if we didn't have Seal of Martyrdom, we were not defeating Hogger there. It's good we got to come back, though, and get that 1v1 with them. We were not able to do that the first time. There's too many people here farming them. All right, so let's get uh, a little bit of, of a drink in here. Even though we don't really need it, you get quite a bit of mana back from Crusader Strike. Yeah, I think we would have had quite a bit of trouble against Hogger. Ah, oh, finally we get a bag. Oh my God, I got a, our first six slot small red patch. We'll swap it with the green one.
Yeah, Hogger would have wrecked us there. Maybe not, though. We still had Lay on hands. But we had a lot less armor. And, yeah, much less stats because we were probably four levels lower. I think we are like, level 10. We would have missed some hits, too. He probably would have killed us, I think. Still had a health pot we could use, too. So we were really close to death there. We're not having any trouble at all taking these mobs down with the one-handed weapon. Pretty close to being 75 out of 75 with our one-handed maces. That's one thing about paladins and warriors. You have to level up quite a bit of weapons. And it takes a while to do that. But you can just, you know, AFK, watch like a YouTube video or... Or, um... You know, go do something else. Get a, make yourself a sandwich or something and come back. But it is kind of annoying to do. I had to do that on my warrior. And it was a grind. I wonder if they sped that up in Season of Discovery to uh, weapon skill leveling. Maybe. Seems to be the same, I think. Okay, two more bandanas to go. And then I think that may be it with L1 Forest, guys. And then we have, I guess, a few more levels to go before we hop into Dead Mines. What if there's any ruins for us to get inside of Westfall? Horn of Lordaeron. It's elite. Hand of Reckoning. Oh, this Boomkin's going off. Here we go, I'll help him. That's Starfall? He's just Starfalling everything. What level was he? 13? <laughs> just wrecking everybody. Druid would be awesome. Maybe that'd be a cool class to play. I'm a big fan of Druids, so. It's looking like Boomkin's a lot of fun. I wonder if there's Boomkin form, though. I don't think there is. I think it's pretty much just a balanced druid. Like, I haven't really seen any chickens in Season of Discovery yet. Infantry boots. Those look pretty damn good. That's one thing about playing like a Boomkin or a Mage, just being able to pull a bunch of stuff all at once and just completely wreck it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, this guy's still using Seal of Crusader, level 13. Just gotta get Seal of Martyrdom, guys. I recommend it. This game, the game completely changed for me once I got this. I feel like my character became like... I don't know, just another level, pretty much. Like, look at this damage. By far one of the best... Runes you can get.
I just need one more. Bandana. There's Hogger again. I don't want to fight him again. <laughs> Even though we could beat him. We do have Lay on Hands. We have everything. Bubble. Full mana. Sage's Dark Fortune buff. That's another thing, too. We are doing quite a bit of damage because of that buff. It's Druid, man. Just killing everything here. It's hard to even find one null. Yeah, they're all erect. I wonder if we can get a Mark of the Wild from this guy. Look at this guy, man. This is how he's leveling up. Just abusing Knowles. He has a few... Uh, is that another one? Oh, it's a priest. He's dotting them up. He's got Void Plague. Void Plague's such an amazing dot. Very strong dot. You get that with homunculi, you're pretty pretty set. Okay. Stay away from Hogger. That just gives us the final bandana. Nope. You are strong enough, though, to handle a pack of three. It's just take us a little while to take them down. All right, so there we go. We got the final bandana. Let's turn this in. Looks like we're in the final day of the Dark Moon Fair, guys. So that means no more 10% damage buff. Could be a good day to do an Omergon on my priest. If you end up great with a bunch of people that have that buff, you will most likely just crush it. I think we'll wait. I, I want to experience the buff. I mean, the raid without that buff. Just to see how, like, challenging it is. Because it's... I'm not really going to get to see how challenging it is. Because the people I'm in the, the raid with will have quite a bit of gear, I, I assume. It's been out for quite a while. And if you have that buff on top of that, I think the raid's probably... Well a little then. too easy, potentially. Be careful. But I could be wrong. Maybe it is a challenge. Have you been killing no? I see you've been busy. You have our thanks. Oh, nice Peter. new shield. Go with honor. The militia buckler. Let's equip that. Bags are getting pretty damn full. We got another main hand mace, but it's not better than the one we have. We have quite a bit of items to sell. Too bad we're not using the shovel anymore, guys. It did us well in Elwin Forest, but now it is time for us to go to Westfall. I don't know if that's like a really good. It doesn't really show much of West. It shows Westfall a little bit. You the Jansen Steed. Nothing but trouble in these parts. I tried to tell that fool Saldine to get out while he still could. But. Well, he still. Could be, he won't hear of it. 
But I ain't no fool. Verna and I are gonna mosey on out as soon as we get this wagon fixed. See you around. You have the deed to my farm? That's good news. Some roofie stole it days ago. I thought it was good, gone for good. Please, let me have it. We're on our way out of Westfall and ain't coming back anytime soon. But if we do, then we'll need those papers. Loads of thanks, adventurer. As I was saying, these parts aren't fit for honest folk anymore. But if things get better, then this deed will let us reclaim our land. I don't have much to offer you, but here, take this. It was horrible. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's PA gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. Poor old Blanche. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all of the farms in Westfall, if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves, and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furlbrow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor? Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma Saldine over on the farm yonder. The Saldine's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though, but it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall. But between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip. Now we can make Westfall stew. The onions are peeled. The garlic is minced. The rosemary is crushed. The crust has been baked. The dill weed is chopped. The gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight Gortus livers. Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three stringy vulture meat, three Gortus snouts, three Murloc eyes, three okra. All right, so let's go get those ingredients. And off to Sentinel Hill we go. Might as well get the flight point here. I wonder if we have the flight point to Stormwind. Maybe. We should. I don't I, I might we might have not have gone there. That'd be too bad. And how are we doing with our quest log? We had only eight. Foul corruption has crept into Westfall while I was upholding my duty on the battlefields of Lordaeron. These honest farms were overrun and made into hideouts for thugs and murderers. The people's militia needs your help. Ah, so my friend sent you here? How kind. Well, the Stormwind monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it is up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom. The people's militia has freedom. but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. I saw this Unfortunately, junk. the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jangle Load Mine to the northwest, as well as at the Molson Farm and Furlbrow's Pumpkin Farm. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 Defias smugglers, then return to me. The band of wretches responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the land call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding out. In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in the Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwyn, and find out what you can. Stormwind has abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. 
We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mine thieves. Bring me eight gnoll paws, and I will reward your bravery. Although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Osric Strang. His shop, Limited Immunity, is in the old town of Stormwind. Our supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact Osric for more. Can you take him this note? The fastest way to Stormwind is through Thor, our Griffin Master. He's just down the hill, bring him my note, and then take a Griffin to Stormwind. You have to get this note to Stormwind? That's not a problem, you can take one of my Griffins! For a small fee, you can take a Griffin to Stormwind, so you can deliver Lewis's note to Osric. You won't get there faster any other way. If that sounds acceptable, then just speak to me again when you're ready for the ride. I'll charge you a little, but trust me, it'll be worth it. All right, guys. Well, there we go. That was quite a bit of quests we picked up. Our quest log now is has 11 quests. Many to do in Westfall. And we have a bunch of quests here to pick up in Stormwind. Collecting memories. This one here is a quest for dead mines. So we want to pick that up as well. And we have a Paladin quest we want to complete too. Tome of Divinity. So let's get to it. Probably hit level 15 while we're here. And we have lost the Sage's 10% damage buff. Just fine. Probably won't notice it too much. But yeah, well, you will be level 17 in no time. And oh yeah, we actually have an unspent talent here. Prove, prove blessing of might is now complete. We have increased the melee attack power bonus for blessing of might by 20%. And now, what will we take next? I think we might do a little bit of benediction. Maybe deflection. That's pretty damn good for for ret and tanking. Should we do seal the crusader? I don't know. We have seal of martyrdom. Okay, maybe we went to the wrong place here. To find Osric Strang. Looks like this guy's over here. Just wondering what we'll take next. It's also Redoubt. Increases your chance to block attacks. Your shield by 6%. That's pretty damn good, too. Looking for I sell only the best gear, tested and true. And the prices are set, so if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Ah, a note from Quartermaster Lewis. I am not surprised he needs more gear. Sentinel Hill is far away. Good old. The land storm wind has all. Good old problems. allergies. All right. Well, thank you, adventurer. Here's some money to cover your travel costs. Adventurer, I gathered into this crate everything Lewis asked for. Can you take it to him? If you've already spoken to Thor in Westfall, then you can take a griffin back to him. Dungar Longdrink is our griffin master over in the trade district. Speak with Dungar, then get this crate to Lewis as fast as you can. We don't want our fighting men and women in Westfall to go without fresh equipment. All right, well, we took uh, Redoubt. I didn't really want to take Redoubt, but it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing to take. Increases your chance to block attacks with your shield by 6% after being the victim of a critical strike. Last 10 seconds or 5 blocks. So I'm actually thinking about taking Benediction. Reduces the mana cost of your judge and seal spells. We're not really having that much mana issues anyways, so... This will be better for survivability. Maybe we'll go down the tanking tree. Well met. Instead of the red one.
We'll be able to do bigger pulls in dungeons, which will be fun. We were deep in a vast mine in Westfall, hidden beneath a barn in Moonbrook. No clue where these stinking thieving types came from. Anyway, the mine tunnel collapsed on us. I got out, but the others... Well, the others haven't been heard from. You look like you might have better luck in there. If you could look for my brother, I'd be thankful. He always carried his Explorer's League badge. If you can't find him, that badge would at least give me some peace of mind. Many of my friends perished that horrible ah, day when the mine tunnel here. caved in. If your adventures happen to bring you into that wing of the mine in Moonbrook, please keep an eye out for any sign which might identify them. If you come across any of their miners' union cards, bring them back to me, and I'll make sure their families get some resolution from this horrible accident. No Marine has fallen under the control of those dastardly trolls. The situation is great, but perhaps you can help, adventurer. Deep in the dead mines is a functional goblin shredder. Find that shredder and bring back the intact power supply. Ooh, the shredder's power supply will give our gyrogrammatic excavation aid the power they need to break through the rocky underground borders of Nomaregan, opening the way for a gnomish assault. Seems like a lot of people are still leveling up. Everybody I go by does seems to be like under level 40. And he's in the next place. It's right over here. It seems an eternity since I was a boy working the farm in Westfall. They say you can never go back and it's true. Doubly true in my case, my family's home has been burned down and taken over by thieves. I have spoken with my father about the fate of some of my possessions, including my first compass. He was unable to save them. However, he also says that they should be hidden away on the farm. You'll find the Alexton farmstead west of Sentinel Hill. Perhaps you could go and retrieve it for me. All right, so here we go. Tome of Divinity. You'll be tested many times by the darkness that surrounds our lands, Travisine, but... To ensure you are always prepared, we will often t ask tasks of you so you are at the height of your own power. Go with the light and remain it virtuous. It's beautiful here in Stormwind, is it not? Your timing actually couldn't have been better. Tone of Divinity. Here in Stormwind, I am responsible for putting paladins on the path to greater virtue as they devote themselves to the light and defend Azeroth from the Scourge and other threats. The time has come for you to take your first step towards being truly virtuous. If you accept it, I will give you a book of divinity. In studying it, you shall learn some about the light and what is expected of you. If you understand it and are capable, then you will succeed in attaining greater abilities. Nice. We got Blessing of Wisdom, guys. And Holy Light Rank 3. It's a good buff to give to any user that need, you know, mana user. Places a blessing on the friendly target, restoring 10 mana every 5 seconds for 5 minutes. Players may only have one blessing on them per paladin at any one time. Alright, so let's check out this quest here. Tome of Divinity. In all things, a paladin must reflect the light which supplements our strength. To strive to be divine for one of our kind does not mean we strive for godhood. We strive to be good in all actions. Although... Called upon to smite evil in these harsh times, you must always remember that it's aiding others that will truly set you apart from the citizens of Azeroth. Compassion, patience, bravery, these things mean as much to a paladin as strength in battle. Know this and never forget. Speak to Do Thorian Aral in Stormwind. Damn it. <laughs> I just left that place. All right, we'll head back and see him. Kind, kind of wish I accepted that a little faster. There we go. We got blessing of wisdom. It's gonna be nice when we get salvation. No one will be able to pull. We'll we'll see how good our threat will be, but um, it will help quite a bit. With people, you know, not pulling threat off of us.
Hello again, adventurer. How goes your studies at the Tome of Divinity? Then you should be prepared to have yourself tested. There are always tasks to be done throughout the city and our lands. Acts of compassion and understanding, people who need help, creatures to slay. By proving you have the patience to help others, especially those who are less fortunate, you prove that you are a servant of the light and of sound mind. Your task then, adventurer, is to find someone here in Stormwind that is in need of aid. Someone who is pure of heart and motive. Perhaps someone helping others. Perhaps someone in need of a guide. Regardless, the person must have noble intent and be relying on your kindness. Do this and return to me when you are finished. Then we shall discuss more of your path and what it means to be a paladin of the light. Okay. I have never done this quest chain before. But I'm interested to see what it's all about. I think we can learn sword specialization while we're here. What can I have you come seeking training in yeah, the way of armed combat? One handed and two handed swords are now learned oh, to train hello, them up, Buzz. though. How go your adventures? Oh, I'm so glad to hear you're doing well. Oh, me? Uh, thank you for asking. I'm doing well, all things considered. The increase in tradesmen has kind of put a damper on the amount of leather and cloth people are willing to part with these days. So it's been tougher to make clothes. Thing we had that linen cloth. But we'll manage. By we, I mean my husband and I. He's up in Ironforge trying to seek help from the citizens there. Bless their hearts. Most of them have no families because of the scourge attacks in the last decade. My husband, John, collects the materials for me to make the shirts and pants for the children, but I haven't even had time to do that. I've been too focused on keeping food on their plates and a roof over their heads. What's that? You'd be willing to help? Oh, thank the light, and thank you, adventurer. If you could bring me some linen cloth so I can sew clothes for the kids, that would help me out so much. Thank you, adventurer. Thank you so much. The children will be so pleased, and you've saved me so much time. I'll now be able to focus on the children's other needs, and hopefully my John will be able to return home sooner than we thought. Thank you again, adventurer. I knew I could rely on the charity of others. The light be with you. I'll take these to the children this very day. Please be safe, good adventurer. It is not often women of your character show their faces in the city, but you've proven that the paladins here in Stormwind shall never turn their backs on those in need. Farewell. You've returned so quickly, adventurer. And what have you accomplished in your time away from the cathedral? Have you helped a noble cause? Perhaps you've learned the value of charity or some more about your obligations to the citizens of Azeroth. Tell me, who have you helped and how? Well, I'm impressed, adventurer. Those are surely the actions of one who follows the light and values others above oneself. Such sacrifice will always be rewarded in time. Take this, adventurer. It is called the symbol of life. You've proven charitable and patient. Now the time has come to see if you're powerful enough to focus one of the light's greatest gifts. My friend Gazin returned recently from an encounter with some Defeas in Elwyn near Hero's Vigil. He barely escaped with his life. He's near the altar, having his wounds healed by our priests. Take the symbol and speak to him. If you can help him, then we will speak again soon. May you bask in the light's glory. Asterisk, cough, asterisk, pleasure to meet you, adventurer. <laughs> asterisk, Don't cough, mind asterisk. my wounds. The good priest here can take care of old Gaz in this time. I won't be needing the power of that symbol of life you've got there. Not yet, anyway. So, Duthorian sent you to speak to me, huh? Fair enough. I'll tell you exactly what befell me and my friend Hensi. And with any luck and some skill on your part, perhaps you can still help us all. Hensi and I had made it to Hero's Vigil, an island in the middle of Stone Cairn Lake in northeastern Elwood. We'd heard that Defiers had infiltrated our borders and we wanted proof to take to the King's advisors. We caught sight of a couple of the scum going over some documents and we attacked. Unfortunately, we were quickly overwhelmed by more of the mages. Henza held them off for me while I escaped. The daft fool, going and being brave. He's out there now, Henza is. Can you help us, adventurer? All right, so there we go, guys. It looks like we have to make our way back to that stone that talks about the First War. And that is where the Tome of Divinity is. We have to res Hensfalk. 
Okay, so uh, I guess we'll head finish this quest. We'll make our way back to Sentinel Hill. And we picked up everything we could in Stormwind, guess. Pretty sure there's an innkeeper at Sentinel Hill, right? I always forget about that. You have a few quests to do in Westfall. Great Quite a bit. Paths that you can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. A crate for Westfall, eh? Have you been to Westfall before? If so, then it's no problem, my friend. I have plenty of griffins trained to fly that route. The griffin master in Westfall is Thor. If you've spoken to him before, then you can take one of my griffins to him. That's a good lesson to know. Griffins are always trained to fly to their capital city but they'll only take you to a remote Griffin Master after you've already been there. You've already been to Thor, so just speak with me again when you're ready to take a Griffin to Westfall. Once there, you can deliver Osric's crate to Quartermaster Lewis. All right, well, there we go. We are ready. We have picked up all the quests. We still have a few more pre wackrose quests to finish up before we're prepared for dead mines, and I think that's what we'll focus on while we're here in Westfall. Try to get those quest chains completed. I think the Defiance Brotherhood is is one of them. And then the Red Bandana's quest as well we need to finish, which we will pick up once we land here in Sentinel Hill. And here we are. Right, so let's pick up this quest. Looks like we have an innkeeper here, so that's good. Let's pick up the Red Other Bandanas. Constantly shifting. Oh wow, nice bits. I've been following their movements for quite some time now. On a side note, I've ascertained that many members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. Bring me 15 of these bandanas, and I'll see to it you are rewarded. All right, so there we go. How are we doing on quests? 16 quests. We had barely any. Now we have three quests for the dead mines. And I believe the red leather bandanas and the Defiance Brotherhood lead into another quest for dead mines. And supposedly we have to go to Lakeshire. Turn that in. I try to keep Sentinel Hill stocked, and that's not easy with all the action we see. Great, you brought the armor. Let's head over there. Divvy to those who need it immediately. Thank you, adventurer. Your efforts have been a great help to us. And now that you're no stranger to Griffins, I hope you'll come and lend your aid to Sentinel Hill often. Little bit of traveling around today, going? guys. Well, if you're looking to get there quickly, then but we're moving there. pretty quick. It's good that we got the flight point to Lake Share. Yeah, we're going to see quite the power spike. Well, another power spike. We see The funny thing about Season of Discovery is you see a power spike once you get your first three ruins. I've noticed that on, uh, on every single character I play. Once I get the first three ruins, my character just becomes amazing. So it's a huge upgrade. But the next power spike is going to be with gear. And once we start getting into the dead mines and doing higher level quests, we'll start to see our, ourselves doing quite a bit of damage. We also have a uh, one handed and two handed sword specialization now. So we can use those items and level them up, level up our specialization, which will be good. Hopefully, we get the cruel barb when we defeat Edwin Van Cleef.
And it's been interesting with this 100% XP buff. I actually like the progression of the character. Um, it is cool that we were able to just level in Elwyn Forest and then go straight to Westfall. Usually you can do that, I believe, right? In, in right, yeah, you can. It's just we would be level 11 right now instead of level 15. In regular class, it would be like level 10. It, it makes Westfall quite a challenge. It's actually a really scary place to go to at level 11. It's actually s smart to go to like Dunmoreau for a little bit and click, pick, do some easy quests there before you go back to Westfall. But we don't really have to do that, guys. With this 100% XP, but we kind of just get right into a comfortable level. The level in Westfall. It's nice. It's a good change of pace from regular classic. Because you do feel a little bit weak going into Westfall. If without the 100% XP buff. Okay, so we have to find somebody in here. Wiley the Black. He's upstairs. There he is. So, Stout Mantle sent you? Well, I owe him. What I am about to tell you could cost me my life. The Defias gang is up to something big. Last I heard, they were working in conjunction with various gnolls, kobolds, and even goblins. Take this note to Stout Mantle. It explains as much as I know on the subject. All right, off to, uh, to meet Stout Mantle would go. Let's check out this note here. Stout Mantle. Some nerve sending a total stranger to discuss the Defias gang. Once you saved my life, and now you put it in great peril. But I owe you. The Defias Brotherhood is larger than you think. Every mine from Westfall to Elwyn Forest is under their control. Kobolds and gnolls have been enlisted to do their dirty work. They have goblins crafting metal monsters to place in the Westfall fields to prey on the superstitions of the local residents. They have a vast underground network built bigger than you know. Where would you like to fly to? See you around. Pretty sure that's where we need to go. They have a vast underground network built bigger than you know, Stout Mantle. From Booty Bay right to Stormwind Keep, you may be a brave paladin. But you are a fool if you think you can shut them down. They're working on a weapon of mass destruction. After all, if there's one thing stonemasons know, it's how to build big. You didn't think this was about pumpkin farms and vineyards now, did you? I repaid your favor. Now leave me be. Weapons of mass destruction. It's sound like a group of terrorists. <laughs> it's funny how they used that that was a a term that was used back then quite a bit in the early 2000s it's the reason why the western world went to Iraq after 9-11 because supposedly Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction being built in Iraq. <laughs> and it worked. I don't think they had weapons of mass destruction, but... They need a reason to go over there. I thought 9-11 was enough, but I guess, you know, Osama Bin Laden's not really connected to, to Iraq. I don't really know too much about the geopolitics of back then, so I'm not going to touch on it, but I remember that term being used quite a bit during those times. 
So it's funny how World of Warcraft threw that in there. Alright, so let's turn this in. And we'll get this Defias Brotherhood Greetings. question going. Go with honor, friend. Good to see you back, Travisine. What did Wiley have to say for himself? Bah, I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance. But this information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stonemasons. Perhaps that was a slip of tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stonemasons? Only one man would know for sure. Matthias Shaw, head of SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. All right, guys. Well, should we go to, to Stormwind? Why not? Keep going. We should get this done. Right? I know we're almost at an hour. Where are you going? Well, if you're looking to get there quickly, then look no further. But it would be good to get all this done, and then we could just focus on Westfall. And the reason why I'm focusing on this quest specifically is because it leads into another quest to slay Edwin Van Cleef, I believe. And you get a pretty nice item from that. And we should try to get, you know, all the quests we can for Dead Mines. Might as well. And then after Dead Vines, we probably make our way down to the Wailing Caverns. That might be a good time to think about getting our sleeping bag. Because the sleeping bag quest chain. Quite a bit of exploring, guys. Awesome quest chain. I like it. It's cool that they added that to the game. I hope they add more stuff like that in the next phase. Phase 3. Just makes it just changes it up, right? Because think about it, guys. We've been playing classic now close to five years. So anything to spice up the leveling. They they should do. Even if they had, like, fun little quest chains for a mount or just a silly item, I would do it just because it's, I've never done it before. All right, so there we go. We got to go head over to SI7. And then uh, I think we got to go to a cheese shop. If, who's this guy? Zagatka. Oh, wait. I gotta go to Old Town. Oh, this guy's got res sickness. This guy's getting bullied, man. Or maybe he's just... I don't know. Maybe he's getting beat up in Stranglethorn Vale. Who knows? It's the only... Like place I would assume someone would use red sickness. Sometimes it's good to use though when you're uh, trying to just travel faster throughout the maps. I did it on my priest when we were doing the the sleeping bag, cozy sleeping bag quest chain. There he is. Mr. Shaw. Welcome to SI. Seven headquarters, adventurer. This matter might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemasons Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I have written a more detailed account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once. All right, well, let's check out this more detailed account. 
Lord Stoutmantel, led by Edwin Van Cleef, the Stonemasons Guild was composed of the most skilled builders among men. The Stonemasons helped to rebuild the broken city of Stormwind that was raised by the orcs during the First War. Van Cleef and his tradesmen were peerless builders, and their work and artistry was evident in the edifices of the Cathedral of Light and Stormwind Keep itself. However, the nobles of Stormwind ran up a huge debt by expanding the kingdom's military presence throughout Elwyn and into Stranglethorn. The massive debt crippled the kingdom's economy and stripped Van Cleef and his stonemasons of their promised rewards after spending years of toiling to rebuild the glorious city. The stonemasons were left broke, forgotten by the city's corrupt officials. Great beasts, no paths that and I think one of those corrupt foot, officials there, was actually the dragon Anixia, who was disguised as a human. And she was creating all this trouble between the stonemasons and the nobles of Stormwind. Having personally known Edwin Van Cleef my entire life, I can tell you that facing him as a foe is quite a daunting task. You see, he was my childhood friend, and I personally trained him in the ways of the shadows, thinking that one day he might consider a career alongside me. If Van Cleef is heading up the Defiance Brotherhood, may the light have mercy on our souls. Thai Shaw, Stormwind Assassin's Guild. Well, there we go, guys. The beginning of the Defiance Brotherhood. And I'm not too sure about that Anixia thing, but I'm pretty sure that that is true. I've heard I heard something about that. I might be wrong wrong about that, but I believe Anixia had had a part in what happened with uh, the development of the Defiance Brotherhood. All right, so here we are. We're back in Sentinel Hill. Pretty damn fast. I'm starting to wonder, was it always that fast? The flights? <laughs> the flights from Starwind to Westfall? I wonder if they sped those up. Oh, wow. Level up. Congrats. Cheer. Yes! Be careful. Light be with you for the Alliance. Did Shaw shed any Edwin light? Van Cleef. I know the name well. To think that a man so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Adventurer, my scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moonbrook, the Gold Coast Quarry, and the Jangalode Mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. All right, guys. Well, there we go. Got ourselves some bandages now. And we are also on the hunt for the messenger. And he's over here in Moonbrook. And he walks all the way up here. To be honest, he usually doesn't make it out of Moonbrook because there's just so many people farming him. So I think our best bet is just to, to catch him here when he spawns. Maybe we'll find a group for it. But we will do that next episode. We'll probably also finish uh, the Tome of Divinity as well. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.